Hey everybody, it's Blue Ducky, and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the Disney Store Limited Edition Maleficent doll that uh, just came out today and I just got it today. And if you haven't seen that video, go check out my latest toy hunt where you can see me getting her. She's really, really awesome. Here's the front of the box. And I really think her box is awesome. It says limited edition one of 4,000. Both sides of the box both have windows with the white design on the top and the bottom. And here is the back of the box. It is black and purple background with the same purple foil and Disney Sleeping Beauty with Maleficent and her silhouette. And then um, a little paragraph about this doll. Okay, so these boxes open really easily. All you have to do is slide the top piece right off. And then the plastic piece slides right off as well. And then you can replace them once you're done looking at the doll. And they do come with a certificate of authenticity, which is really, really pretty as well. has a Disney Store logo, and it's all printed... Well, the design is printed in that purple foil with a black card background. It tells you a little about it. And this one that I have is number 2865 of 4000. Okay, so here's a close-up on her face, which I have to say the pictures that I saw online before I bought it, um, I don't think really give her justice. I think she's a lot prettier than those pictures gave her credit for. Her skin is, um, her, the skin on her face has a pearly sheen to it. It's really, really pretty. And it's, it's not really a green color, it's more gray. A bluish gray. It's very, very pretty. And then she has this awesome smoky purple eyeshadow with long, thick lashes. And then her eyes are purple with the yellow around it instead of white. She looks very dramatic and it's of course the classic face shape. But it's very, she, I find her very pretty. And then she has her red lips and it looks like a darker red lip liner for her makeup. Trying to get her from all angles. And she doesn't have any hair, but she does have, it's plastic or um, whatever the material they're made out of, but her horns. It's a very cool headdress. And then it goes down and around the back of her head and around her neck. And then her dress, of course, has this high dramatic collar, and it is um, the two layers look like black leather with these rhinestone studs. And then the third layer is a purple satin looking material with purple rhinestone studs, and then it connects down into the dress, which has a very plunging neckline, as you can see, and the entire top part of her dress is made of a black velvet and it has this embroidery in it with black rhinestones and also this purple um, detailing with purple uh, rhinestones and it's just so soft and pretty and then like the under part of the skirt is this purple uh, pleated material and then the, the underside of the almost like a jacket layer is um, this red satin color. So they did add a little red to um, her color scheme which is usually purple, black, and green a nice touch and gives it a pop of color along with the high dramatic uh, collar piece 
her sleeves are also really really long and they do have that um, classic look the jagged look but they're kind of like um, stuck in the box you know uh, tied down in this pose which I am keeping her in the box so I won't be taking the ties out so it's a little hard to see but you can see a little bit of it here it's a really cool detail and you can also see that they also painted her nails red on both hands the hands are kind of out of the way so it's something you might not notice right away but it's a really awesome detail a re another really really cool accessory that she comes with is her staff and on top of the staff is her crow Diablo and he looks really cute he, they even put the purple around the eyes and he's sitting on top of her staff which is really cool they have the silver crackly orb on top and then it goes into the gold base which has uh, white rhinestones I, this is so cool how it looks like um, the crow's feet or it could be dragon feet which we all know Maleficent loves dragons <laughs> so yeah, it's, it goes up to um, her chest level, especially with Diablo on top. It's a magnificent staff for an awesome Maleficent doll. She just is really, really amazing. And I had so much fun getting her today. And you can see the background is the castle background. So it looks like she just stepped out of the shadows at Princess Aurora's, Aurora's christening. Was it a christening or was it just like a baby shower? Anyway, I love how when that light hits it, you get her shadow behind her. It's very awesome and cool and is just like the movie. She's so beautiful. Also, if you're curious about her shoes, they're kind of hard to see, but you can lift this purple part up a little bit, and she has what looks like to be black heels. They're a bit plain, but um, I don't think you ever see Maleficent's shoes in Sleeping Beauty, so that's okay, and I'm not going to really see them, like, ever, unless you look. So, I don't mind them being plain. They kind of go with, uh, it would be like just a shame to put like really ornate shoes on a doll where probably most of the collectors aren't going to ever see them um, or have them like displayed because of the long dress. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching my review on this Maleficent Collector's Doll. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, what do you guys think of this Maleficent? Do you like her? I know I love, love, love her. I'm so glad I got her, and I think she looks just amazing, even more than any sort of online pictures give her justice for in real person. I mean, in real life, seeing her in first person really makes me appreciate her more. So thank you guys so much for watching, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!